Hello, 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 Earthly Virgo. This is Nikki. Welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new, hello. Thank you so much for joining us over here at the Earthly Virgo. This is an almost personal reading for someone in the comment section. Someone in the comment section. If you know you've been posting in the comments, this message could be for you. Okay. Frustrated. You feel frustrated. You're about ready to quit. You're just ready to say, F it, I'm done. You're just frustrated. You're ready to quit. Okay. And you may at, at, at some point feel all alone. Okay. You're feeling frustrated. You're wanting to quit. And you feel like you're all alone. Like there's nobody there to have, have your back. Nobody has your back. Maybe the organization is all effed up. Okay. Someone in the comment section. Almost personal reading personal reading I could be personal reading you're in the comment section I'm focusing on you and you and you so take out resonates when you see it we got the past and we have six months plan plan so you've been planning this for six months you've been organizing this for six months okay or, you know what, this is, could be your work. The organization that you work in is not, you know, living up to its best, its fullest potential. And you feel like, I'm not being productive here. I might as well leave. This place is frustrating me. And I feel like you have been accepting the fact that it's time to leave. Um, we're at the end of March. So, you know, maybe you have decided, I'm going to plan and get the hell up out of here. Within the next six months, I'm going to be somewhere else. Okay. Um, don't let any other opportunities pass you by. Whew. Just a lot of cards fell out. I don't know if I want to keep them. I have cautious. Okay. Um, you haven't been in this position long. I have slow. I'm going to put these back. Uh, you know, I did see something about food earlier. So maybe somebody's having some weight issues or maybe you want to change your diet or, or uh, change the way you eat or whatever. I have future. We have single. You don't want to be alone. But some of you just say, fuck it. I don't want a relationship. Mm -mm. I'm just done. Mm -mm. Maybe your favorite color is pink or blue. Maybe you have a boy and a girl. Maybe you like boys and girls. Take out resonates. All right. You regret this starting this job, or you regret hanging around these people. Okay. Too fast. Too fast. You, you, you end up picking up with somebody too fast, and now you regret it. Okay. What do I have here? We have a long plan, marks. Maybe you're marching to the beat of your own drum. You're just going to sit down and do what you're supposed to do. You're not going to listen to anything. You're not going to listen to any other yin-yang, any other nonsense. You should say, fuck it. I'm just, I'm just going to do what you hired me to do. Okay. You're very, very frustrated here. And this could be some past energy, you know, or, you know, it's just remain patient here. Just remain patient. Things are going to get better for you at this job, whatever it is that you're doing. I feel like this is an opportunity for you to say, you know what, I'm just going to chill it out. I'm going to see what happens within the next six months. I feel like you've been so frustrated. You've been crying or wanted to cry. Something is definitely triggering you to cry, okay? Or triggering you to um, to just give up. You know, y'all, I'm just, I don't have to deal with this. I'm done, you know? F you and F you too, you know what I'm saying? So you, you're tired of this environment. You're tired of the people. You just don't want to be bothered with this anymore. You've accepted this. The organization is all effed up. And like I said, we got March here. This could be the month we're in now. This could be you saying, I'm going to remain patient. I got a plan within the next six, six months. This is going to be my past job. Okay. So F this job because you feel like you're all alone here. Okay. You want to quit out of frustration. Okay. But you know better than that. You know, you still need to, to this is your bread and butter for now. You just got to be a little bit more patient. I feel within the next six months, you're going to be gone. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I'm, I'm here. You're going to be gone anyway. Okay. You're planning something. And whatever the plan is, you just remain patient here. You know, the thing about it is some people on this job see that you watch to the beat of your own drama. You're not paying, a, play, paying attention to their shenanigans. Move on. There's no, no point in feeling like crying. It, it won't last forever. Okay. I'm going to use this new deck that Jeff gave me. You know, he sent it to me in the mail. Thank you. So we're going to see. Thank you again for this deck here, Jeff. So, personal reading for someone in the comments. Almost personal. 
So what is this read? It's like if you comment on a regular basis, then hey, you could resonate with this reading very well. You could resonate. Let's get one card, okay? And we have here the uh, small ass by Amber. Could be your name, Amber. We have Amber. Warmth, regeneration, and grounding, exuding warmth and electrical charge. Amber was believed by the Chinese to encapsulate the soul of the tiger when it dies. With a rich history, amber was used as a protective talisman during, I'm sorry, dating back to ancient times. Technically, compromise of tree reason that has been fossilized. Amber is used for grounding higher energies back and forth. When rubbed, it can become electrically, char electrically charged, dispelling, negative neg dispelling negativity and igniting desire. Amber is used as a purifier, cleansing the environment and chakras alike. Use amber to electrify, electrify your life. Leo, it represents that sign, Aquarius, and the sun. So maybe get you some amber, okay, and carry that with you and keep it charged, Keep help helps you uh, charge yourself. I don't think I have any amber. This is carnelian. That's carnelian. I don't have any amber. Hmm. Okay. What other messages do we have for someone in the comment section? Mistake. Mistake. Um, and see, you want to get out more, but you're afraid. And this could be about a relationship that you're regretting that you know that you need to be out of too. Fear. So your fear being alone, your fear, fear being by yourself. Um, but I feel like whatever it is, whether it's, your, it's a struggle being single, you haven't put yourself out there, it's going to be a little bit more harder for you to get out there, okay? Because you've been so used to being on your own. And, and now that you've been on your own so long or you've been into one too many karmic connections, you don't want to deal with that anymore. It's just a struggle to be single. But at the same time, you feel like that's where you need to be in your life right now. You gotta say yes to get out to getting out more Virgo. Say yes to getting out more and just enjoying yourself. You can beat all the drums you want, you can blow all the horn, horns you want. But when when it when it all boils down, if you're not enjoying yourself, who's gonna like who's gonna like what it is you're playing? You get it? Mm-hmm. That should tell you who this is for. You know who you are. Okay. Get out more. Say yes. Mm -hmm. Say yes to the dress. Say yes to the date. If you like that, that show, say yes to the dress. Okay gonna be a little bit more struggle but it's not a mistake to be by yourself it's not a mistake to learn you and who you are and your wants needs and desires all over again there is nothing wrong with taking your time and falling in love with you all again virgo not at all so you got to take the lead in your own life okay this could also mean you becoming the lead in your department being a lead at another job and, and you're being led somewhere else but you're afraid to because you're comfortable there, but you're so unhappy and you're dreary and withdrawn. What's what's I mean? What's why are you still there when it's not benefiting you? It's time to move on, okay? But you'll know when it's right. Okay. Personal message for someone in the comment section, and we have August. Hmm. Something's coming up for you in August. That could be your birth month. Mine is August 29th. Organize. Come back out. Organize. Okay. Okay. So we got three months. So it's time for you to eliminate some stuff. I did see clutter earlier too. So maybe it's the, good, the perfect time for you to start spring cleaning if you haven't already done that. Maybe this is something that you've been planning on doing and you have yet to get to it. And you're being, you're being um, reminded, start eliminating some stuff. Start letting some things go. It's time for you to organize. It's time for you to plan, organize, lead, ignore. Well, not ignore. That's what you've been doing now. Organize and eliminate some things that you don't, you no longer, you no longer need in your life. Eliminate, okay? Because in the next three months, you're gonna be making a move. You're gonna be making a literal move. You could be moving a job or finding a, you know, having a relationship, or you know, I feel like you're gonna be moving in with someone, or somebody's gonna be moving in with you. Uh, but no more victim mode, okay? Uh, you've grown so far. You're no longer the victim. You are the survivor, okay? <laughs> I just heard you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will hell will be held against you. Okay? So if you're not ready to date, don't. Okay, you're not ready. 
I feel like there are other plans for you. And within, within the next year or so, yes, you'll be ready to date, but not right now. What, six months, within a year possibly, but right now, you're not ready. And I feel, I feel though you're telling yourself you're not ready because of your past. But right now, I feel like you are ready. May is coming up. You know, don't let that past dictate who may come into your life, who may step into your comfort zone. We got to relax. And look, take control of your life. Get that control back. I'm her comfort zone. Mm -hmm. into your, let somebody step into your comfort zone right now. Let's get some final messages for you. Don't let the trigger of summertime fool you. Okay? Don't let the summer uh, trick you. Uh, trigger you. Maybe you're uncomfortable with how you look and don't want to step out in, in outside of your comfort zone in the summertime. Showing what's ready, showing what's whatever. You're more ready than you think you are. Got November. Okay, we in May. Well, no, May, June, July, August, October. That's seven months. Okay. Single. We got November. Single. December. Flirt. Mm -hmm. Afternoon. It never. I'm hearing it never rains in sunny California. Okay. We got date, flirt, single, on a holiday. Woo! Bedroom. Mm-hmm. Well, we got night. Freak me, baby. Oh yeah. Baby, oh, what's that song? Oh, look you. Okay. Anyway, this man or want or woman gonna want to look you up and down. Okay. Bedroom. Look at those pretty bedroom eyes looking at you. Want to get in between them juicy thighs. Take it for for who it resonates. Okay. I have here, you're going to meet somebody between December and um, November, December. You have single. You may meet this person in the afternoon or on a holiday. It could be November. It could be um, Thanksgiving. It could be somewhere around Christmas, Christmas Eve. It could also be New Year's Eve. Flirting, getting out because you're going out. Okay, dating. It could be somebody actually asking you literally out on a date. And that's when you all are going to hang out. But this is you putting yourself out there. You're tired of being single. You may hang out on a holiday or something. Dirty if you're going to flirt. Maybe dating or hanging out with your friends. Let's go all this hang out. Flirting with somebody with those pretty brown eyes. Pretty brown eyes. Whatever you color, the color your eyes are. Okay. And then we have here the bedroom. Sorry, y'all. Night. You know, we got December and nope. Bedroom night. So, you know, you may have the opportunity to hook up with this person because it's going to be so attractive they're going to be so attractive to you that i think that you're going to say you know what i like you i do we just met but you're not and you're not we're not gonna hook up like this not tonight not to say we won't but not tonight okay you may meet this person in the afternoon and y'all may have a good conversation and it just leads to why don't we hang out tonight and let's go out for, for drinks or something like that okay okay Inspire. You inspire people. Um, you impact a lot of people too. And impact. I feel like you don't know and don't realize just how much you inspire people. You have this impact. It's like they admire you for what it is you do. And go out and have fun. You know, somebody may ask you out on it to just get out and go out and have a drinks, you know, just to relax and calm yourself. Yeah, go out and by all means enjoy yourself. And it really is gonna make you happy. Just don't get too inebriated or drunk that you end up falling your ass down some damn way. And having it that someone help you up and then boom your eyes meet you fall in love. It's only about October. October. Control. Control yourself. I have evening and I have winter. Well, kind of be careful. <laughs> we talk about months from now, but let's be careful here. And I got one year. Inspire. Things are gonna be so much more calmer for you, but get out of the fear and frustration. And putting yourself out there to date, Virgo. I really do see things getting better for you. But you inspire a lot of people. Just your very essence, okay, impacts a lot of people. It makes them look at you and like, wow, I really admire that. Maybe those are your initials, I and I. Or maybe somewhere in here are your initials, okay? You don't realize just how much you inspire by who you are, by the very essence of who you are, okay? Uh, but don't be afraid, okay? Stop being afraid. Uh, remain calm. And understand, you need to have this attitude of so what? Just so what? Just so what? Okay? Talk to you later.